Hello everyone, and today I'll be reading an Albedo Listener by me, so let's get into it. Albedo and you were going to a party. Mondstadt holds many parties and festivals, but this one was one of a kind. One where only people like you, him, Lisa, Jean, and other members of the Knights of Hermonius and their close friends will be invited. It was an idea of Lisa, which honestly made you nervous about the entire thing, because she never came up with something this good, without a catch. And it turns out that you were completely right. Lisa had a game in her mind, and she told you she would announce it after dinner. So you chose to enjoy those few moments while they last, because you knew whatever game she had in mind could not be innocent. After all, the word innocent couldn't be further from Lisa. She always had those sinister games of hers, and they were always borderline weird. You didn't want to elaborate on that, but you had seen far too much and known too much. And from Jean's face, it looked like she knew and was already a little bit troubled by it. But Lisa, no. She was more than excited for everyone to finish, so she could start this beautiful game of hers. And that's when she sat you all down, telling you that the game in question would be seven minutes in heaven. She'd pick two random people, and they'd be stuck in a closet for some time, which is honestly a little bit too good and bad. Because you know she'll be listening in on what's going on. And also, because, well, it was kind of embarrassing overall. But that was honestly her goal, wasn't it? You already knew. So, albeit the actual agreeing also was not a part of the plan. But the fact that he was so agreeable, it was kind of weird. And suspicious in your own opinion. Did he just plan this with her? Was this just to get a reaction? No, there was no way there would be such a big scheme for something as silly as that. And then they got grouped up. Jean and Deloig, which made Jean blush so brightly that Lisa eventually had to switch and make a terror, and Jean said. And honestly, from a look at her face, it seemed like she wanted this in the first place. And then, it was Kay and Amber in which Amber kept just kicking him. It was all supposed to be lighthearted, but the fact that he sent her on a mission that she did not want to go on kind of made the case a little bit hard. And then came your turn, you and Albedo. And though you were dating, you weren't exactly official. You were there because you were Lisa's friend and Albedo's, but no one knew that you were dating yet. And that's why you were kind of nervous, especially since the closet was really tiny, and you truly wondered what could happen. But Albedo seemed a little bit too eager, giving you a wink and a smirk before I'd see if you went in. And then, the door was locked, which was just you and him right now. You kept staring, quiet, blushing, before he cupped your face in his hands. Kissing you and whispering. If you don't want them to hear, then you better be quiet. And that made your face go even redder. Because there was no way he was saying this. He was going to go through with this? Seriously? It's like you couldn't even last seven minutes. Not even one. Because then he started making out with you. And you were having to muffle moans and whimpers. As he held you closer and closer. And then... Dragged you onto his lap, the two of you cuddled close, way too close for comfort, and that's when he began touching you in places he shouldn't, especially not here. You had to bite your lip, and he smirked, teasing you, asking if you could really stay quiet all those seven minutes. Your breast was hedging with every touch at every feeling of his fingers against your body and skin. But you couldn't let them know. You couldn't. 
You were trying to offer yourself in a shirt when it is marked, and all of a sudden, you bit your thigh. And that's when you let out a soft moan, and everybody outside knew what was going on. Lisa let out high pitched laughter, and it was barely muffled by the closet that you were in. And that's when the two of you let out, having lost and been a little bit noisy in those seven minutes. Lisa smirked upon seeing you, telling you the exactly what was going on, but when she took a good look at you, she just laughed, telling you that you don't need to at all, and she already knows what's going on. You were blushing brightly, elbowing him, and telling him that he was the one who blew it. He just chuckled, telling you, that he intended to all along, and saw this as a good opportunity. Jane tried not to bluster you, but Lisa, Lisa was merciless, and there was no escaping or teasing. Amber was so happy for you, though, and so was Zula. The both of them congratulated you, and even though you were shy and embarrassed about all, it was a nice event, and they all celebrated your announcement being a couple, and the fact that you're official now. And Lisa kind of won a bet with Jean, and ended up getting 10,000 more. Well, that was a lot to bet. She really was sure that you were dating. Otherwise, she wouldn't make a bet like that. You wonder if Jean just did this to lose, because there was no way you could make a bet with Lisa, and when if she bet that much. She's a smart woman, and she was pretty good at predicting what was going to happen. Needless to say, though, you were kind of happy with what you did, because now you had a lot less to worry about when being with Albedo, and there was no longer any need to hide. The two of you were free to act like a couple now in public and in front of everyone, and you had a lot of plans and dates planned now. And you were quite glad to get them started. And a look on Albedo, you could tell that it was a weight off his chest. And that he was just as glad as you are. Which you are honestly grateful for. 